Well, the strawberry planter experiment, the first one there with all the holes in it, didn't work real well for the strawberries. But as you can see, it's got some crazy corn popping out of it. <laughs> and it seems to be doing really awesome. So, fail for strawberries on this one. However, it's growing the hell out of some corn. And I didn't plant that. That was actually in the soil mix just because I pulled some uh, stuff out of the chicken coop for uh, plant matter in there. And it just had seed in it. So yeah, that is doing really well with some corn in and I'm actually going to pop some corn in the ones that don't have some coming up already. And, uh, or maybe I'm just going to let those little weeds go because these things are real good at kind of shallow rooting over the top and keeping the soil base good. So we're going to do that. I'm going to walk over here. This thing's still got a bunch of strawberries on it. <clears throat> the beans, that's the bean test I just pulled one of them out of there and planted it somewhere else and that's doing really well what are you doing buddy he's my handsome guy that's my handsome handsome boy right there sure is look at that y'all that mango or the avocado tree is doing awesome yep 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 over here is the second strawberry planter experiment and as you can see, they are doing stunningly well. Look at that right there. Oh, I'm fixing to eat that. Yeah, these are the plants that are uh, fruiting right now, are the ones that were in that uh, tank right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mean. I'm gonna have to go move that into the chicken yard for them. Landed right where they couldn't reach it. <laughs> Shitty. And surprisingly, well, I'm not even going to say it because then it'll start happening. I'm going to get some uh, rocks and paint them red. Same color red as that. And, uh, oh man, there's another one. Look at that. Oh my god. Mm. But I'm gonna get the uh sorry, I just had a brain fart there. That horrible sounding phone in there started ringing. I've got to get myself a galaxy. I don't like these. I have a King Kong and I'm not real happy with it. 48 megapixel camera that I can't use to take any photos or video because the sensor's such a piece of shit in it. Doesn't matter how many megapixels something is if it has a crappy sensor. I film mostly on a S5 Active. And it is a fantastic camera. Buggy's got those too. That's okay though. But this strawberry experiment is doing fantastic. Um, the pieces the ones that are in here that I kind of murdered from leaving them in that jar of rancid liquid um, they're actually starting to come back so the crowns aren't dead and that makes me very happy this has very good soil in it everything in it's doing really really well pop them crowns up above the top of the soil let that one sit out here for a little bit longer. Those strawberries are doing good. They're putting out a lot of runners. Um, there's a lot of experiments here that are doing extremely, extremely well. Um, I'm experimenting, of course, with not planting in rows. And over there I've got okras around the plum tree. I've got okras around this one. Um... That's actually a, I think it's a watermelon. I don't know, I've got stuff planted all over so it can just run around and go crazy. And these pepper plants are doing fantastic. Look at this. And what's so cool about these is these are ready. 
You can see how easy they're coming off and they're staying small, which means they taste really well and they're fully developed. So they're acclimating to this area and they're not trying to produce some gigantic uh, production company fruit. They're just doing what they want to do naturally, which is what I want them to do. But there, there's another one. That one needs a couple more days. Look at this one here. And this one here just grew up as a volunteer. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of pepper plant it is, but it just volunteered right there. So it should be one of my sweet peppers or a hot pepper or something. I hope I didn't smash the plant. Nope. Okay. Yep, that one's doing fantastic. There's another tomato plant. Oh, check this tomato plant out, y'all. It's growing up the plum tree. I kind of want to take it out of the plum tree, but then again, I don't. I just kind of want to see what goes on and let it do its thing, but the plum tree doesn't look real happy right there. I've got to pick a precious on this tree to let grow up from the center. I picked that one on this tree because I had trimmed them improperly, but you know, it, it had to happen the way it did because they weren't gonna do anything if I didn't. They had been poisoned so drastically. And the little grapevines, look at them kicking ass, man. They're kicking ass. Oh shit, look at these. Look at all these bell peppers here. Oh, them ain't ready yet. Only a couple more days. Give this to the girls. Get it, girls. Get it. These are some uh, yard-long beans or snake beans. And I'm going to send them up this trellis since this side of the... Look at those aphids. They're about to get eaten up by some ladybugs. I'll come spray them off and the uh, ladybugs will come over here and just make short order of them. Look at the grapes, y'all. Get my grapes. I'm so happy to have grapes growing. Even if it's just a few this year, because imagine what this thing's going to look like next year. This one's going to be climbing all up it. It's going to be nice and fat. Yeah, and there's going to be four of them down through there with grapevines all over them. These corn plants are just going crazy, crazy, crazy crazy yeah this this uh, pear tree is doing real good now too and this thing is actually man look at all the peppers that's gonna be on that one holy shit I put a little uh, just a little electroculture antenna in there let's see if we can get that to stand up stood up but yeah there are tons of experiments going on here look at the freaking limes on this tree and it keeps flowering we've got we're having an issue with the uh, leaf miner but look at all those freaking limes right there and this is a Persian lime which is kind of similar to a key lime so it's doing real good I love grapes, y'all just don't even know grapes and strawberries and all that stuff. I love that stuff. There we go. I need to get that dead leaf off there. That's not seated real well. I'll do that. Let's come out here with a knife. Look at the little fruit on this thing. I'm actually going to take these off so it can grow a little bit more. Give that to the babies. Oh, bobbin for tomatoes. I put a little electroculture antenna right there and look at that tomato plant. However, look at this one. They're the same age, so who knows? <laughs> I got some, uh, I couldn't tell if it was the loofahs 
or if it was the uh, birdhouse gourds, but I've got these smattered all over the place too. So they're doing real good. That little mango tree starting to kick a little bit. I put it in a good pot of good soil. These over here are doing good. Hey, woodpeckers. Yeah, I probably need to pull the fruit off of that and let it get a little thicker, but there we go. Let's just put that in there. Grapefruit tree's doing awesome. Lemon tree's coming back. Look at that corn right there. And in here is just tomato plants and okra plants and stuff. We're just trying to figure out where stuff likes to grow. But this right here, there was nothing coming up out of this. Y'all saw it. There's videos on this. There's videos on this thing. So that's how fast they're growing. Let me go ahead and pick that because it's ready. I love that these are staying smaller and fully formed seeds and everything in them because they're acclimating to here. One thing I have learned about growing in the heat in, you know, especially eastern central Florida, I don't live on the west coast anymore, so, you know, I have to go by what I'm living with here. There's that little orange tree that had been run over God only knows how many times. This is one that we, uh, that I got to root off of some old, old, old stuff. And I got over here in the grocery store garden. I need to get some food in there. I need to get that out and planted because it's, it's not happy being in there anymore. The root system on it is just insane and it's just not digging it. The, the water coming out of our water hose from our municipal supply is uh, being toxic to plants and I'll say that is absolutely from the water and that is absolutely from the water and there's no denying that's from the water because look at these these were started in that tank and planted in here I need to crop some of this again it's getting crazy this tastes better than any lettuce this tastes better than any celery ever I eat a lot of celery had never really grown it like seriously until um, I started doing this and then planting them because for a while it was just a novelty thing well it's not a novelty nature wants to grow man look at that beautiful beautiful sunflower oh I have never been able to grow sunflowers here look at that strawberry plant got a strawberry on it yep look at all that these greens are so good for you it is insane when you eat them you can feel it in minutes it's crazy but yeah all of this I put a couple of those gourds or whatever they are I'm not sure what that is but every time I go to rip it up I something tells me not to um, it's got those blackberries I'm wondering if it's my black pepper plant I wonder if these are black peppercorns I need to look cuz I, so, I, something keeps telling me not to pull this up because I planted something here. But if that's peppercorn, that would be fantastic. I remember planting elderberry and I remember planting peppercorns. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to figure out what this is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, if anybody knows, man, put it in the comments if you know what this thing is. I'm in the 32754 zip code. Yeah, I, I would love to know what this is. These flowers here, man, these, these plants right here are completely edible. And those flowers, man, the pollinators just love those things. So I never mow my whole yard at the same time. And I never rip out all the weeds. I mean, I'll rip out a bunch, but I leave stuff in here for the pollinators and to go to seed so it just works out better got all this stuff man look at all that food growing and this is just a smattering of stuff there's i'm not doing any serious farming here right now i'm just trying to figure out what likes to grow where and with what what plants benefit each other which ones like each other which ones don't 
all that kind of stuff and you can see they tell you they tell you I mean look at these the pepper plants the corn that is is probably trying to help the pomegranate I mean I don't know but it's what it seems like to me and over here I put a, a beaten plant and there's a just a volunteer corn and there's a pepper plant that I put there but the it's going in there with the grapes. It's not going to hurt them grapes at all because that stuff is seasonal. The grapes are forever, you know. I mean, they keep going forever. And then all of the straw and stuff you see that's here, the hay that's being used here, obviously has come out of the chicken yard. And it had been in there for a long, long time. Look at the squirrels in there. Chowing down. Let me get something still. The squirrels. I now let go into the chicken hut or the peeper hut and they sit in there and they eat the whole kernels of corn and the beans whatever the chickens don't eat they eat which keeps them off my garden for the most part it's working so the squirrels are in there doing their job and they're happy and they're eating well and they're healthy and they're not going to be diseased and ate up with worms and stuff like that. They're going to be super healthy squirrels. And because there's so many of them, I don't harvest these squirrels. I don't harvest them. These are the squirrels that live here in my trees. But those big red squirrels that, that as far as I know, aren't even native to Florida. I've been here since, you know, 70 and I've never seen those red squirrels before but they live in those trees and they'll come down that back fence and they come out here and they get a those squirrels get harvested yes they do there's just too many of them even with me feeding them there's too many of them we got little peepers over there little peepers right here hi babies hi i know pearl's being a bad girl and she's out in the spot she's not supposed to be and look at that them two right there that one and that one have acted like hens their whole life whereas the little hen has acted like a cockerel her whole life so there ain't no telling what's what those are definitely boys though just the little jersey giants right there and right over there they're jersey giants and then there's that barred rock looking one that they told me were black astralorps I think they're black astralorps, but they've got a lot of barred rock on them. Most black astralorps are solid black, so did they even tell me what the hell they were supposed to be? I mean, did they tell me the right thing? I doubt it. And squirrels, it's mating season right now. <laughs> it is definitely mating season. They heard that hawk. Sorry, I had to scream at a honk. Everything is doing really well. I'm letting all these, letting all these uh, elephant ears grow back up because that just gives them a ton of shade. And the bugs love to get up under there. It gives them, I mean, look at all that stuff where they're eating. Oh, speak of the devil and ye shall appear. Yeah, they know when I'm looking at them. That one jumped right down. He's going to try to make his way over here. Those are the asshole squirrels. Yes, they are. These squirrels are doing what I want them to do. You can see how tiny they are also. See how much smaller they are? And these squirrels get fed really well. They're tiny. And I noticed the birds, the, the there's a set of cardinals. They're not six inches from tip of their tip of their beak to tail. And the woodpeckers up here are just super tiny. I mean those are a naturally tiny set of woodpeckers. Excuse me again. Yeah, 
that's one of the bigger ones. It is mating season, and I don't generally mess with them too much then. Look at how happy the babies are. They're so happy. Just chilling in there, though. And see, I water that for them. I water those weeds so they'll grow and keep making seeds and stuff for them. This is just a big experiment. That's all it is. Everything is an experiment. If you treat it like that, you just keep trying to figure out where things want to grow and how they want to grow naturally. There is some kind of fungus right there. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but it ain't pretty. Here, look at that pepper. It's a faciated blossom right there. See how these are not a faciated blossom? Get that wiped off. And this is a faciated. It's probably three blossoms that fuse together. You can tell there's three peppers in that. So yeah, I just kind of like to see how things happen naturally and where things enjoy being and where they don't. And I know I need to move those strawberries out here into the sun a little bit more. Um, there's just things that you figure out by keeping things. Sometimes keeping things in pots is very beneficial for learning where it grows the best. I think that's a faciated blossom right there too. It is. Oh, monkey. Yep, this is one, two, three, four, five, looks like six, five or six. Five or six blossoms in one that fused together. That's a faciated blossom. Yep, sure enough. Look at all that. Yeah, that's at least five or six fused flowers. Because again, that's a big difference, huh? <laughs> All right, y'all. Pearl's still being a bad girl. She keeps getting out over there. She keeps, now she wants in. And she'll fly out, but she doesn't usually fly back in. And I gotta deal with this hawk issue, so. Y'all have a fantastic day. Much love to everybody. Grow what you love and you will love what grows.